The country's COVID-19 vaccination program kicked off today with top government officials and medical frontliners publicly receiving their first doses of the vaccine. And Thoughtus reports. Less than 24 hours after the arrival of the first batch of Sinovac vaccine from China, the government's vaccination program immediately kicks off with the inoculation of some government officials and medical frontliners. Dr. Geraldo Ligaspe, director of the University of the Philippines Philippine General Hospital, was the first to receive a dose of Sinovac vaccine around 9.30 a.m. Monday. Among those who received the first of two doses of the vaccine at PGH are Dr. Edsil Salvana, Director of the Institute of Molecular Biology, Biotechnology at the UP National Institutes of Health, Food and Drugs Administration Director General Eric Tomingo, and Metro Manila Development Authority Chairman Benhur Abalos, Secretary Carlito Galvez Jr., Vaccine Czar and Chief Implementer of the National Task Force Against COVID-19, underwent medical assessment before the vaccination. It was said that a total of 178 personnel had agreed to be inoculated with a Sinovac vaccine. Galvez said the government targets to administer the first dose of Sinovac vaccine to all healthcare workers nationwide who are willing to receive the vaccine before the end of March. He said the vaccines will be transported to the Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center in Cebu City on March 3 and 4 and to the Southern Philippines Medical Center in Davao City on March 5 and 6. In a related development, local government and business leaders expressed their relief over the arrival of the first batch of COVID-19 vaccines to the country, saying such development will help revive Cebu's business climate. The Philippines received a donation of 600,000 doses of Sinovac vaccine, the first batch of COVID-19 vaccine to reach the country on Sunday, February 28. The Sinovac vaccine is given in two doses for four weeks apart to clinically healthy individuals who are 18 to 59 years old. The National Immunization Technical Advisory Council, or NITAC, had retained the prioritization framework and gave healthcare workers the right to first refusal to receive the vaccine. NITAC members stressed that vaccination is purely voluntary. Kenneth Torres, Sunstar Tonight. Torres.